Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another styling video. Today's video is all about some high street pieces that I really think you're going to love. I've actually got loads of pieces on here, there's literally hundreds and I'm wearing one as well so this video might be a little bit longer than usual but I'm going to try and get through them as quickly as possible. First of all I do want to point out something because I feel like I'm going to get so many comments about this. You might notice the lines on my arms. Basically I wore a top when I was away and it really rubbed my arms so much so that it got sore and then I fake tanned and obviously because when something gets sore and you like rub skin it gets dry and the tan has clung to my dry bits. Hopefully this won't be around forever and I've not branded myself with my fake tan but just in case you're wondering why it looks like I have a really weird t-shirt tan that is why. I kind of like it as well it kind of makes me look a like I have really big muscles like if you stand like that it's like I have shadows where my muscles are and also I kind of feel like Xena warrior princess as well like they're armbands or something but anyway without further ado let's get into the video and I really think you're going to enjoy this one so let's go. So first up is the dress that I'm currently wearing and this dress is such a great find. In fact, when we were unpacking this, we were both like, wow, that is such great quality. It's fully lined, so there's no see-through bits. It's got pockets. It's also not white and blue, which really does lend itself to making it feel a little bit more expensive. It's not often that you're impressed by high street quality, I've got to admit. This is also a really great piece to just throw on on days when it's really hot and wear around the house. This is gonna be something you will probably see me wearing a lot on days when it's really hot and I'm at work and all I want to do is just be really cool because it's not tight, there's, there's room for lunch and it just looks really well presented as well. So super happy with this. I've styled it up with some castagna wedges. These are my old castagna wedges, so they've got a little bit more of a heel. If I can find them online, I will link them in the description box along with everything else in this haul. It will all be down there, so if you want to shop the outfits, I will have popped them all together so they're really super easy to shop. Bag-wise, I'm not too sure. I'm thinking maybe my Prada bag, my Prada basket bag. Where is that? Let me go find it. Yeah, I think this bag works well with it. Ideally, this fabric part probably would have been white, but I can kind of already tell that if I was to have had this white, it would have been ruined, covered in fake tan and makeup and all of the marks. So yeah, that is the first option. And I honestly think that this is one of my favorite pieces of this haul. So I thought I'd get all of the dresses out of the way first. These dresses actually arrived this morning. I've got it in coral and I've got it in black as well. I will show it to you in the black because I really, really wanted these dresses. These could easily be from somewhere so much more expensive, from like Revolve, you would never ever know. I love the colors of them. This coral is such a beautiful color, especially if you've got a little bit of a tan, if you're going on holiday. It's like a cheesecloth material, so it's super lightweight. Again, this is something that I can easily wear around the house, or if I'm on holiday, I can wear it to the beach. Super, super cute. So I did obviously get it in the two colors. I've styled it up with some castagna wedges again for this particular color because I find this more of like a summery springtime dress. So wedges are always my go-to if I'm wearing this because I don't want to dress it up too much. I want to feel casual whilst also still feeling really like elevated and cute basically. <laughs> this is such a great find and again this is something that you'll see me wearing a lot of. Wearing this at the moment I think I'd go for a nude bag with it. I could easily style it up with my Valentino rock stud bag which comes in this nice white colour. I think this goes really nicely. I also have the matching sandals so if I wanted to pop it with some flat sandals to dress it down even more then those are a really great option as well. And you can even tie this up behind if you don't want it in front like this and just tie it out of the way so that it's not in front. Obviously I would do this a lot better, but if you wanted to keep it more relaxed on the front like that, that is also an option. So again, this will be linked in the description box down below. So I've got another little summer dress here. This one is great for covering up the uh, bits that rubbed on my arms, unfortunately. So hidden for just one of the outfits, thankfully. I'm really happy with the pieces that I've picked that are items that you'll be able to wear next year as well, like these simple summer dresses that are, it sounds weird to say it, but timeless. They don't date. They're summer dresses that you can take on holiday with you and they're wearable each summer, if that makes sense. Am I making sense? I hope I'm making sense. This is definitely something that I would wear next summer as well. 
super easy to wear but yet still really elegant and beautiful. I like the sleeve detailing, I'm a sucker for a bardo style sleeve, I don't feel too restricted and it's just easy to throw on and accessorize up so everything can be focused more on your accessories like your handbag and your shoes and sunglasses and yet you're still wearing a really beautiful dress as well. This was one of my options for when I went to Celine Dion, but I didn't end up wearing it because I wanted to wear something white. But this is beautiful and it's got really beautiful detailing to it. It makes it feel a little bit distressed. The fabric is really nice fabric actually. It looks almost like linen, but then it's got some detailing to it. I don't even know what that detailing is, but it's like frayed hem. I've teamed it with some black castagna wedges and my Chloe Nile Minaudier bag, which I don't wear that much, but I always go for it when I want something a little bit more boho Ibiza vibes. I feel like that's what I'm going for with this haul because I've said boho so many times, but I really do love Ibiza styling. During the summer, I'm much floatier and much more sort of whimsical with my style. And this dress is perfect for that. Okay, I'm probably looking a little bit shorter now. I've got some kitten heels on from Manolo Blahnik and I've like dropped two inches. But this is a skirt that's a little bit different for me. This is like a bias cut skirt. It's so funny, whenever I wear these, my stepmom is like, I remember those the first time they were around. And I actually remember her wearing them similarly to the way that I am wearing it today. So she's kind of like my inspo for this outfit. But I've just knotted a simple tee with this gorgeous, it's, I don't even know what color this is, but it reminds me of my living room. This is like a royal blue and it's absolutely stunning. Again, so impressed with the quality of this skirt and I really love this outfit. And to bring it all together, because I've gone for some pink kitten heels and then teamed it with like a gray t-shirt, I need to like pin these sleeves so that they stay a little bit rolled up so they look a little bit disheveled because I want this to be sort of vintage vibes. But to pull everything together with this skirt, I've gone for my Dior saddlebag with this detailing on the strap because it's got the blues, it's got the nudes, and it's got the greys. I've actually never bought an expensive bias cut skirt and I just find that the ones that are on the high street are such amazing quality and this one is no different so I love this and they have this in so many different colours as well so I'll link some of my favourites but so so happy with this and so happy with the styling as well. Next up I wanted to show you this pink skirt. It actually is a two piece on the website but the top unfortunately was a little bit low cut for me. I will link it anyway in case you want it but I've teamed it and styled it quite similarly to the blue skirt. I've got the pink Manolo shoes on and then I've just got an old grey t-shirt. Bag wise I'm going to pop my Christian Dior Lady Dior bag with it because I think the colours look super cute but this skirt gives me more Isabel Morant vibes and I really really like it because it's got this waist band around here that obviously clings to the smallest part of your body which automatically draws the eye in and I just love it. The fabric as well is really cute. It's like this little ditzy floral print and it's got ruffles and I love ruffles and it's just an easy one to wear. This would actually look really nice worn with a bikini top as well if you're going on holiday. You could easily just throw this on. You know when you want to go and like get a drink or something but you don't want to go in your bikini then you can just pop this over the top because it is super easy to just slide straight on and you feel a little bit more covered up. Now, you might be looking at this and maybe thinking that it doesn't look that great, and in all honesty, it's not how I intended to style this. So I need to buy something different to put underneath this. Hear me out, okay, because I honestly think that these shirts are so beautiful. I love the statement organza sleeves. I actually have it in black already from a previous haul, and I've got it in this gorgeous peachy color and also white, which I will also show you on the rail. Now, the way that I wanted to wear this was with one of these. Now, I think this is such a hero piece and I'm so bloody impressed with how gorgeous it is. This is the kind of underwear that you wear as outerwear. It's perfectly acceptable for it to be seen through your clothes or even just wear it by itself. The cup size doesn't work for me, so I fully intended to either wear this over the top or <laughs> wear it underneath. I bought these in black and in white and I honestly think that this is an essential. If you ever have those tops that you want to wear and you're like, it's see-through and it looks amazing but what on earth do I put underneath it because it's going to be seen whether it's a nude vest like this, which is literally my underwear. 
So you can make it a little bit more interesting with something like this. And corsetry is really big at the moment. So yeah, this is definitely my style of particular corset. I'm just gutted that it doesn't fit me. However, I wouldn't usually do this. I wouldn't usually show you an item that isn't great or doesn't fit me. But I really think that so many of you will love this top and will find it so useful. I bought this in the nude color, which Oh, so perfect. It's the perfect shade of nude as well. This would go so nicely under like sheer shirts and things like this. But yeah, I also bought it in the black. So this would have been perfect to go under the black version of this top as well. In fact, it looks quite cool layered over the top of this. However, I'm gonna look for some silk camis that I can put underneath or see if there's a different style of corset that I can find. So with this one, I'm gonna find myself a silk cami to go underneath it, same for this one, maybe with a little bit of lace to add a bit of detailing here. This cami, not so much, or maybe a boot tube. But I love the colors of this, very me color, very summer Lydia color. So super happy with this, just got to find it so that it works. Just because this is so interesting and statement up top, I didn't really feel like there needed too much down the bottom so I've gone super casual and super understated on the bottom half. Bag-wise, what are we going to go with? I think maybe a Chloe Nile. Let's go with a Chloe Nile. Yeah, I think this is a really good colour to sit next to this top personally. And I can wear it crossbody or I can wear it using the handle so that this style is usually a little bit more dressed down. And then if I was to go like so, perfect. But as I mentioned, really, really happy with this. Just need to find the perfect partner in crime for it. Okay, I've just popped on the white one and I've managed to get this to stay in place, but this is the slightly larger size in terms of it around my waist, so it could move at any moment. And if I was to turn to the side, you might be able to see the sides of my boobs. But this was generally how I wanted to wear it. I did pop it underneath to begin with, but I think that popping it over the top actually cinched it all in and made it look really nice. But this is just something a little bit different, not what you're gonna to wear to your shops, but you may well wear this on a night out when you're going for drinks with friends or for a meal. This is something very statement and just a little bit different. Next up is this shirt, and this shirt got a lot of love on my Instagram stories when Ali filmed me in it the other day. It's kind of like a almost lumberjack style shirt, but again, it's got these statement puff sleeves, which make it really interesting. And the whole idea of it is to knot it so that it's sort of oversized, but yet cinched in at the waist. And I actually was so surprised when I put this on because it's actually really flattering for something that has so much material. I also love the colors of it. It looks like it's a really expensive, almost cotton-like, because again, it's not in that piercing white color. It's slightly off-white, so it sits really nicely with denim jeans and just looks a little bit casual, but also a little bit sexy at the same time. So I'm actually really loving just throwing this on and knotting it. I've teamed it with my Dior bag that has all of these tones in the strap. And then I've gone for the redone jeans with my Christian Louboutin heels. That is because the shoes also have nude in them, which lends it to this. And I just feel it makes it a little bit more grown up because sometimes I wanted to feel a little bit more sophisticated. So these heels particularly were just a really nice understated touch, but still makes it quite feminine. So yeah, I wanted to show you this one because it did get so much love. And I think that a lot of you will like it on here as well. So that's how I've styled it. So I'm not moving because I don't want this to come undone. I need to get a hook and eye put in the top of this because it doesn't have one. But this top I saw on the advert and I loved it. But as usual, same problem. Doesn't quite do up at the top of, well it does, but I need something to hold it together like a clip. This is just a super interesting night out top. Really wanting to see this in the same organza colors of these though. So I don't really wear a lot of black tops when I go on a night out. I tend to go for something contrasting. But I think this is just so cute. It's so nice and so flattering as well. And it just looks like, it's just different. It's different to what's on the high street usually. It's something a little bit structured and undone. That sounds weird, but I know what I mean. Yeah, it's something just a little bit different is what I'm trying to say. But really, really happy with this. So I thought I would show you it anyway. Okay, this top is a little bit of an essential this summer. These style of like square necked tops with the puff sleeves, a little bit cropped, 
So you can wear them with high-waisted jeans or skirts or shorts. They're everywhere at the moment and I was looking for a really good high street alternative. This one I think is so sweet and also not too low for someone like me. I really like the height of this one and I also like the puffiness of it. It makes me feel a bit like a pin-up girl. It's so cute. But again, just kept it with some jeans to dress it down and some heels, but I think this would look really nice with my Stella McCartney vegan leather trousers as well. Just something a little bit more edgy with those. But I think I will team it with my Dior, Lady Dior bag as well, just to go with the shoes. And just, it's quite a feminine look. So I thought that the pink would be quite cute to go alongside it as well. But other than this, it's the last one in this haul. So I thought, I'd go out with a bit of a bang, but this is such a cute top and so wearable, so it'll be linked down below with absolutely everything else from this haul will be down there. So that is everything in this high street haul. Slightly different and something a little bit more interesting. I really feel like I found some different pieces to the usual things that you find on the high street and some items that definitely look way more expensive than they actually are. For me personally, when I'm shopping for things on the high street, I tend to look for things that look a lot more expensive than they are so that people have no idea where they're from. And that's just my personal style when it comes to the high street. And I know that quite a lot of you like them as well. So I thought I'd style some things up like that, but I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do give it a thumbs up and I would love to see you back here for more videos. So if you haven't subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.